Very often in Kotlin, you'll receive multiple lists and you'll need to combine those lists into a list that does not comp contain duplicate elements. Now you could iterate over both lists and check to see if either one contains a value and if it does, then not include it. So each item in the new list is unique and that's usually what you're after, is a list who has unique values. But really at the end of the day, what you're looking for is actually a set. And a set, if you look at it, is a generic unordered collection of elements that does not support duplicate elements. And that's line 252 here. This is in the collections class of the Kotlin standard library. So basically a set is a unordered collection uh, that does not support duplicate elements. Now, thankfully, there are some utilities built into the Kotlin collections library that allow you to do this real easily. So here we have two different lists of people. This one is Don, Jake, Janet, and Kavita, and this list has Don, Janet, Jumo, Kavita, Kevin, and Kathy. For whatever reason, there's in both lists, both people are present. Now, maybe this could be because these could be groups that are on, you know, a popular site that you have, or maybe you're building uh, an event management platform. And so, you know, Don and Janet and Kavita are both going to these two events, but there's some differences here, but you want to find all the unique people that are there. So this could happen for one, two lists, a hundred lists, and you need to find out which ones are unique. Now there is a built-in operator to do that. So you can say val unique values, and all we really have to do is say people.union, more people. And what union will do is we'll return a set containing all the distinct elements from both collections. And it's gonna return a set of the value. So a set of whatever type it is. In this case, we're using persons. So what it will do is it'll look inside of here using the equality operations on the data class, which it checks, you know, the values, et cetera. And it'll check to make sure that there's no duplicates. And so now if we were to run this, so we'd say print LN unique values, we run this, we'll see that we will only have Don inside of here once, Jake is only in here once, Janet's only in here once, Kavita, Jumo, Kevin, and Kathleen. There is no duplicates inside of here. So even if you were to add another one here, say a union something else, and you could say person, and again, you'd say maybe Don again, so the third time that Don is gonna be inside of there, you'll see that it's still only added once because the union operator will return you the set containing all the distinct elements in both collections. And that's how you can merge multiple different lists and return unique elements across all of them into one final set.